friends this is a routine phaco surgery let us watch the surgical steps this is the main incision it's a 2.8 millimeter posterior limbal incision the patient is under topical anesthesia and we have to frequently instruct the patient verbally to get some cooperation this is a side port on the right side of the main incision and in this case I'm going to stain the anterior capsule with trypan blue dye so that I can demonstrate capsular access clearly and now the dye has been applied the dye is washed out after 5-6 seconds it's not needed to wait for longer than that now viscoelastic substance is injected into the anterior chamber and it is spread over the epithelial surface of the cornea the capsular axis is the is a very important step of phaco emulsification this is a side port on the left side of the main incision and now capsular excess is done I usually cut the capsule and razor flap with a 26 case bent needle and now I use a uterata forceps hold this tag tear off the anterior capsule make an opening and this opening should be as around as possible I try to remain at a certain distance away from the margin of the people and thus I get this kind of round rexis and now hydro dissection is done now is the time to introduce the tip of the FECO handpiece visco has been injected the machine being used is Oatly Catarix easy FECO machine here it is this is direct job the tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus the nucleus is held firmly and it is chopped in this case it is nucleus is being rotated 180 degree and the nucleus has been divided into two halves this nucleus is a little on the harder side it is say about grade 3 plus or grade 4 in softer nucleus in grade 3 it is not so difficult to chop the nucleus in such cases we just have to hold the nucleus firmly with vacuum and chop it in this case the vacuum being used is 450 millimeter of mercury I'm in FECO2 mode from the very beginning Fluorid being used is 45 ml per minute. Power depends on the hardness of the cataract. In this case, the power is 70%. And this is the last portion of the nucleus and see what they do. After emulsifying up to this, when the last a bit of nucleus is remaining I remove the chopper and do this emulsification single-handedly what happens is the leakage of BSS through the side port stops or becomes minimal and anterior chamber becomes very stable now in this case a bit of 
nucleus or epinucleus is still there. Let us see if we can remove it through the main incision. And I find that it is quite a large segment and it is not likely to come out through the main incision. So what is done is I inject visco around this epinucleus. It is trapped, this nucleus or epinucleus, it is trapped, it is actually epinucleus. It is trapped in the viscoelastic substance in the anterior chamber and just with on burst of ultrasonic energy it is removed. That's it. The nucleus, epinucleus has been removed. Now the cortical matter is being removed. It is very easy to remove this cortical matter with a 23 gauze Simco cannula. It is very fast, very simple and the anterior chamber maintenance is much more controlled than a bimanual and it saves a lot of time. That's it. The cortical cleanup is done. Posterior capsule is clean, and now this is an intraocular lens, hydrophilic acrylic four level intraocular lens being implanted in the capsular bag. That's it. And now, this is a bit of moxifloxacin. The side ports are to be closed. The stromal tissue on either side of these strap incisions are hydrated. The stroma becomes thick and these strap incisions close. They become autotite. This is the final lavage of the anterior chamber. Whatever viscoelastic substance sticks to the corneal endothelium comes out. And whatever I have used, if it is pyrocarpine or moxifloxus and everything is removed. Thank you very much. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills.